Hello, welcome to Boozing with the Big Guy. I am the Big Guy. And uh, another edition of Boozing with the Big Guy Ryback. Tonight's uh, beer is Michelob Ultra. We're going uh, super pussy mode tonight, as always. Guys, I'm over 300 pounds right now. I'm watching my girlish figure. Um, for the people that say I'm fat and out of shape, you can look at my Instagram and look at my abs on Instagram. I post um, weekly ab shots on Instagram. Top this off. <laughs> Top that off there, guys. Look at the teeth whiteners working. <laughs> um, I got my ring light here. I got the light on. We got the camera set where I'm not getting the ceiling lights because I ah, my eyes, my eyes. Ah, I can't stop watching. Ah, you fuck you. I've uh, I've had a few beers before we started tonight. Try to keep these videos in the 15 to 20 minute range. I know sometimes I could be a real chatty Kathy. I'm sitting here in a Ryback shirt as well. I know, a conceited asshole wearing a shirt that says my name on it. Looking from the outside in, I get it. But just know I filmed an episode of Feed Me More Fitness Rebuilding Ryback with the white rhino Stan Efforting dropping Monday here on Ryback TV. And so you wear shirts that you sell, which by the way, guys, all shirts you can find here on Teespring on the Ryback TV. Just go to teespring.com or I think they have the link, the, the pictures of the shirts on that. We got a bunch of cool shirts, shirts for Feed Me More Nutrition, Ryback shirts. And uh, we have many more designs. If you have design ideas, we have I Need More Information shirts. That's what she said. <laughs> we got those shirts on there. So uh, I see people make comments. We got all those up, guys. You don't have to buy them. I don't give a shit. The, the money from any of this does not mean shit to me. But it's nice. It goes into marketing for Feed Me More Nutrition. So I shouldn't say it doesn't mean shit to me. But it's it's all for a good cause. But if you don't want to buy a shirt, like I'm not really too concerned. Not too motivated on that end of things. But uh, we, got a lot of, we got a lot of good comments tonight. We're going to get to the good comments. Um, ah, I forgot to send one. There was buddy, one, somebody wanted me to shout out their son. Ah, son of a bee. I, lucky Lar, lucky Lar. I saw the comment and I was going to screenshot it. And I had like six or seven beers prior and I just... Lucky Lars, Lucky Lar, I know you know I'm talking to you, though. You know who you are. Thank you for being such a great fan. I, I love my fans more than anything, guys. Okay, I thought the light got a little... With the light, light getting a little weird there? Okay, we're good. Um, unfortunately, guys, I'm too... I update everybody before we jump into this. Uh, Sophie... As you know, has had six uh, ruptured discs, actually technically seven, um, prior to yesterday. Uh, her last procedure, like five months ago, was a double procedure over a course of three days. The disc ruptured, but it didn't rupture fully. Then it ruptured two days later after the first surgery. So poor little baby had to do two surgeries the last time. So uh, she's had actually technically seven back surgeries and six ruptured discs um, fully. There was one other disc susceptible to being ruptured. She's a four-year-old French bulldog. She has uh, severe disc disease. She doesn't suffer. She's such an amazing, beautiful, just incredible dog. And it uh, gives me a lot of inspiration. She's there for me during all of my stuff and my health problems. And uh, it's up to me to be there for her. I would be a selfish piece of shit if I wasn't. And I'm in a position to where I don't... I just had to figure out a way to make some things work without traveling. And I was able to do that. So, uh... But uh, she ruptured another disc yesterday morning. After I got done recording uh, my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, she actually was lying in there right by my feet when I recorded. And um, everything was fine, just as it always is. And I went to take her outside, and she wasn't. She didn't want to come to the door, which was weird. And this is how it's kind of happened every time. I, uh, she just gets freaked out. And I walked over to her, and uh, she was shaking really badly because uh, when the disc ruptures, it causes her body to start shaking and her back to start trembling really bad wherever the disc ruptured. Uh, there's typically a 50-50 chance in dogs when their disc rupture that uh, it will hit their spinal cord and bruise it, which can cause paralysis, which it needs to be operated on. And there's a 50% chance that it won't do that. 
and you just you put the dog on some medication for a bit for the inflammation, and things kind of work themselves out. Well, the first six times, hit her spinal cord, and she had paralysis two of the times. I had to teach her to, to rewalk again and, and all that deal, and, and uh, she's the toughest little dog I've ever seen. She doesn't whine, doesn't cry. It's, it's un unbelievable. It's truly remarkable to me. And, uh, but, uh, this last time it, it had to stop everything, took her across town and she ended up being, got her over there and her shaking stopped. The trembling on her back stopped and they examined her and they believed that the, it ruptured, but it just, it went away from her spinal cord and she's acting completely fine. Now I got to keep an eye on her and have her on medication for a couple weeks, and uh, but lucked out on this one it looks like, and that was the final disc. Uh, now there are more discs in her back. The upper back is not not prone to going typically. This is again though she's had seven ruptured discs since February of 2018, and I've talked about this well, but it stopped me from traveling and uh, to stay home to take care of her, and it's been a blessing in disguise. And uh, I'm very, a very loyal person, and I'm very uh, loyal to my dogs. I love them more than anything, so. But uh, I put that on Instagram, and she's doing very well. They're, her and little guy are sleeping on the couch over there right now. And uh, But a lot of the times, a lot of the things I'm not able to travel and stuff is because of that. So, And I'm, I'm trying to figure, figure out a way. But it will, it will work itself out. It always does. But I believe in, uh, I'm able, like I said, uh, able to make things work from home and take care of them. So, and they're, they're fucking awesome dogs. Dogs are fucking awesome. It's, there's just no other way to put it. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into these messages. We got some really nice ones today. We're already seven minutes and I'm really good at keeping these videos short, huh? I got my official boozing. With the big guy, Ryback TV, glasses, uh, what does it say? Ah, delivered 1981, that's when I was born, I was delivered in 1981. I think it's supposed to say established in 1981, but here we are. All right, let's get into some of these comments here. A lot of good ones, there's so much love and positivity, guys, and I know some people, We I, I joke around, like the... None of the comments, um, good or bad, I don't ever take. Like, I don't ever, like, lay in bed at night and be like, God damn, fucking Sammy Orton, Michael 69, fucking Cena for life, you can't see me, whatever. Plug in any name on that. I don't, like, sit there and be like, God, they really got me today. Like, it, no. It's just fun sometimes to make fun of this stuff and have fun. The positive comments, though, need is not more, if not as much, if not more, uh, attention so it doesn't do as good as views and whatnot on here but I don't give a shit YouTube has its algorithm and whatnot and some videos will do great and some videos won't I literally if you know me I could get one view I'm not taking the video down if I like what I put up I like what I put up I know if it just gets distributed people will watch it no we don't have control over if a video gets distributed within an algorithm or not so I know I'm the most entertaining thing in the, on YouTube I think somebody got really mad at that. I'm sarcastic, guys, like a lot. But when I'm fucking serious, I'm fucking serious. That's all that matters. All right, Giorgio. Giorgio ASMR. Oh, we got an ASMR guy. I got to do another one of those videos soon. Ryback, thank you for making time to hang with us during the holiday season. It wouldn't be the same without you, big guy. I wanted to wish you and all your awesome fans a happy Thanksgiving with lots of good food and wine that you will finish it, LOL. You are always uh, invited to my family dinner. Stay strong, Giorgio. Thank you, my friend. It was, uh, had a little Halloween feast, and uh, for the people I'd spent a few Thanksgivings alone, I had a great time, actually. I told I got hammered on those back in Louisville, Kentucky. But, uh, so I wanted to hop on YouTube and do a live, and uh, have Thanksgiving with the people that didn't get to have Thanksgiving with anyone, so. And I had Thanksgiving with my family. I saw a few comments that thought that I was eating alone. And they're like, you got to have family or friends. Yeah, I ate with my family earlier in the afternoon. So thank you, guys. <laughs> but if you don't, it's okay. It's not, 
like I said, just fo you get to you get to be alone. You get to have Thanksgiving. Don't don't fucking. There's always a positive to every situation. So if you want to choose to feel bad, you're gonna feel bad. If you want to choose to feel good, you can feel good. So, Jeremiah Welsh says, "Happy Thanksgiving, big guy. I hope you were able to see your family. Thank you. Bless you for everything that you do to better yourself and others. One of the things I'm thankful for is your channel. It's very informative, entertaining, and inspirational." Thank you, feed us more. Thank you very much, Jeremiah. I'm just trying to, uh, and I talked about this with my with Stan Efforting today, uh, letting go of your ego. And I was talking to my good buddy, he used to be in WWE uh, as Kalen Croft, one half of the Dude Busters with Trent Beretta. Great guy, one of the best human beings that I know. And uh, we were messaging each other today on Boxer, going back and forth, and I just told him, like, you know what, it's changed a lot in me. I said, I go, when you shift your mindset to just simply trying to learn as much as you can, your ego just kind of goes away. Whereas if you don't have that mindset, you really limit what you can do. And the, cause we're by whatever weird fucking mechanisms are inside our human body. I come, I, I've been ultra competitive for too long and it destroyed me. Mentally, physically, it's fucking like, it, it, it's just, it's a very bad thing. And I, and I talk, I have this, thing in me and a lot of us have it it's it, 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 can, it can destroy you pretty quickly and uh and i found that uh letting go of your ego when you when and you let go of, and people go well, how do i let go how do i let go how do i let go i feel like oftentimes we give advice and we don't tell you actually how to do it for me what has worked is shifting my mindset into how do i learn as much as possible i just want to learn I, that's all i want i just want to get i want to get better and learn I'm not worried about being the best because that is a, that is a, that is a, a road that, that, that is leads to nowhere in my opinion. But when you take the mindset of, I just want to learn, I just want to apply myself and I just want to learn, just want to get better. And you surround yourself with people that can help you learn and get better. And you have a great work ethic and a positive mental attitude those results kind of take care of themselves. And we've heard people like Nick Best talk about it, that he doesn't compete with anybody else but himself. And what happens, it, to me, I think it's shifting your mindset to a learning mindset. And when you shift to a learning mindset, the ego just drops off naturally. You don't even have to try. And I'm finding that now and surrounding myself with some fucking excellent fucking people. And, uh, and I'm not going in there like I'm gonna fucking go in there and show him today. It's, I'm gonna go in there with an open mind and just try to learn and work really hard and hopefully motivate them somehow, maybe through hard work and see what they've done to have such success. And the end result is everybody wins and you get better, they get better, everyone gets better. So keeping an open mind, going into everything just to learn. Truly, truly is a, it, 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 to me, it's a very powerful thing. Fred Espinoza writes, uh, hey Ryback, I suffer uh, from PTSD. Your channel has made me so happy when I'm up at most hours of the night. Thank you so much. Fred, thank you very much, uh, my friend. And uh, our minds can be a very difficult thing to overcome. We can be our own worst enemies more times than not. So uh, I, I'm a big believer in laughing, in humor, and that's why I'm sarcastic a lot of the times. And I'm very serious also but i've i've learned that uh feeling good is the one thing that will change our energy and our frequency quicker than anything and laughing is the quickest most efficient way to feeling good just think about it think about times that you've felt really good like and i know for me it's when i watch comedy movies or when i when i'm talking to people and laughing it, it just you all of a sudden it changes that energy and that frequency Cause like, I'm a big believer, like guys, there's a lot of people that give advice out there and they say, well, do this and do that. They don't necessarily tell you how. I, I believe in just sharing what has worked for me, I'm getting a lot of messages. We've had a busy two days with Feed Me More Nutrition. You guys are, you guys are killing me and I love you for it. <laughs> We've had our two biggest days of sales the last two days. It is, it's unreal. We just broke another record this month, but, um, Feeling good, it's uh, which that makes me feel good. <laughs> and laughing, I feel I find that laughing 
is the quickest way to feeling good. Just to let you guys in on why I'm funny. or That's fucking conceited. I'm not... Why I try to be funny. Sometimes I don't even try. I just say, I'm just fucking funny, dude. Uh, Chase the Heat. Yeah, huge fans here, dude. Chase the Heat, Johnny Scoville, Johnny Jr. Thank you, guys. This one's for you. Oh, we got to fill up. We got a little left. I'm not a good pourer. My dad was a bartender. I didn't get that skill. No, oh, not too bad of a pour there, big guy. That wasn't too shabby. Look at that. Not to look on. <laughs> Maybe I could be a bartender. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was me acting like a mark, saying, like, oh, yeah, you should be a bartender, loser. That was the verbiage, just so you guys know in my head what I was saying. Because that's how a lot of them talk. All right, moving on. Where are we at here? Oh, we got, we got a four more minutes. I got to piss like a horse. Derek Williams, this channel is freaking amazing. Love all the content. If it wasn't for the Bell Life mentioning you, I might have never even learned about this channel. It doesn't hurt that you're a beast. Beast! He capitalized it. LOL. Seriously, though, keep up the great work. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. That was weird. I hate doing things that people are going to think I'm like a real slob on. I'm just, I, guys, I'm so relaxed when I do these videos. I, I feel like I'm letting you into my home, just so you know my mindset on this. I like, I'm not looking at this like, oh, I need to be proper. Like, it's like, I'm literally letting you guys like fucking every view that is come here in my house watching me do this. And we're like in the privacy of my house. I like, I feel like I can get away with anything or almost anything. Just so you know what, how my mind processes what I'm doing when I do these videos. I'm very comfortable in front of a camera. I don't, I don't like worry like, oh my God, a camera's in front of me and I got to like talk a certain way. Unless it's like WWE and I gotta like memorize a bunch of shitty lines by a bunch of fucking like skinny people that don't know anything about physicality or anything about me for that matter. And a bald man there fucking telling them stupid shit. Like just fuck like some stupid shit. And then I gotta go and read these lines about a movie about like priest raping boys. And I know that this is a really shitty thing I have to say, but I gotta go out there and say it and like... And then I know, like, I have an insatiable appetite for fucking destruction. And then look at the camera, seriously. Like, it's stupid. Guys, and I did it to the best of my ability, and I made a lot of money doing it. But I, I fucking thought it was stupid too, guys. All of you. Watching. We may want to edit that out, Dells. That may have been too much. I'm going to shoot you a message after this, Dells. Sneaker addict. Because sometimes I say that, and then you leave it in. I don't know if we want to leave that one in. Then no, we can. Fuck it. What are they going to do? <laughs> right back rules. Moving on. I discovered uh, Jack Old Nards. I discovered your channel just a couple of days ago when I got the random urge to watch people eat ghost peppers and crap like that, which led me to watch some of your regular eating videos as well. I'm glad I did. I even learned you're a wrestler. I don't watch WWE anymore, so that was cool too. As much as I like watching people chow down and live uh, vicariously through them, my favorite part of the videos I've seen were your positive messages and advice against negative thinking. I've been on both sides, mainly on certain topics and issues, but your words have been food for thought, no pun intended, so thank you for that. Jack, Jack Olnards, <laughs> that fucking name. Uh, thank you very much, and... Uh, that's the whole point with all of the, the, the stuff that I do is kind of just a way for me to have fun, to have an outlet to talk. Um, and, and again, for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, for my Feed Me More Nutrition, and to let you guys in on, on who I am. Because a lot of people did not know who I was based off the character that I played in WWE. And it was very unsatisfying for me uh, to get a lot of hate and negativity on uh, things that and people didn't know me and for people to love me and to not even truly know me they, there's no worse feeling in my opinion uh, that, that's why i say you want to be loved and be hated for being exactly who you are and have no shame uh for whoever it is that you are and be you at the end of the day and so that is why i am me and i don't have to, I, I take the filter away and there's no bullshit and, and those that love you love you and those that don't those that don't don't and it that's okay and that's completely cool It'll be at least you're being true to yourself at the end of the day. So, but guys, uh, uh, 
This was a good one. This felt good. I feel good. I got a lot of things I got to get done tonight. I'm gonna, I got a couple more beers here to do. We're working on some new videos for you guys, some different uh, situations and scenarios. And I might even do a date night, uh, date night with the Ryback or date night, just something date night. Wow, random date with me. And, uh, and uh, do a video on that. Like, who knows? This is essentially, what's that movie with Jim Carrey where his whole life's just on TV? I'm essentially just working my way to that, guys. Because I don't give a fuck. It's fun. Like, this is this is giving me an outlet to do things and be fun and have fun. So, shout out to the Bell Life once again. I love those guys. They've gotten a lot of new people over to this channel. And uh, hopefully we can do a collab soon to Chase the Heat, Johnny Scoville, UK Chili Queen. Love her. And uh, those people are the, they're the masters of the heat game and whatnot. So, guys, be good human beings as always. Thank you for watching. Please share this. Subscribe if you can. If not, it's okay. Just watch it. Don't watch it. Either way. Life's good. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Oh. Uh. <sighs> Feed! Me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you can smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10. Click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.